Hey guys, Karis Hifty here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Attached Caliber from Kamen Rider Zero One. This is the main weapon of Zero One, which is part of the Attached Weapon series, which, as the name suggests, is a series of weapons that transform from attached cases, which are a special type of briefcase. So, let's get started. First off, we'll take a look at the Attached Caliber starting in Attached Mode, where it takes the form of a pretty simple black and neon yellow attached case. One thing of note is that this is made entirely from the Sukosa plastic, and no paint, which is something I appreciate in roleplay weapons, as it means it can afford to get a bit roughed up without ruining the look. There's also a little bit of silver plastic down here, but that's just for the blade. Taking a closer look, we can see a lot of nice molded details along the front. You flip it around to the back, got the power switch, speaker, Battery compartment takes two AAA batteries and the release switch for the progress key slot right here. Those have the trigger button and this button here. If you press and hold that, this will allow us to flip out the blade from the bottom. We now have it in blade mode. We can see the bottom of the case now lines up with the back of the blade. These two arrows line up as well as this detail running through here. That's overall got a nice flow from one end to the other, where we now see this small silver blade, which is made out of soft plastic so as to not be too dangerous. For a size comparison, here it is next to last year's Jikan Gearade, and you can see they're about the same size, or at least about the same length. So, switching back to attach mode, you can then flip the switch to turn it on. By pulling the trigger in attach mode, you'll just say a little phrase. Attach case opens to release the sharpest of blade. Which is basically a descriptor of its functions. Then we'll flip it out for a blade rise. Blade rise. Then you can pull the trigger for a slashing attack sound. Is this one attack sound? I mean present hold the trigger. That doesn't change. So, next we can activate a charge rise by compacting it again. Rise. Then unfold it for a full charge. Full charge. Then we need we can press the trigger for the Kaban Strash. Kaban being another word for briefcase in Japanese. Or yes, basically the Japanese term for briefcase. And Strash is a word I did not think I'd ever hear again, as the first time I heard it was with the Lupin Strash from Kamen Rider Drive, and still, as far as I know, that's not a real word. Additionally, if we do a charge rise, then press the trigger, that will deactivate the charge. However, it now just defaults to that sound. So, swing it off and back on. We can then bring in the Rising Harbor Progress key to use. And this can actually be used in attach mode. So, we'll slide in here with the arrow facing inward. So, after that activation, we can pull the trigger. For the rising attach. We'll remove it. Switch to blade mode. And start again.
which activates the Rising Caban Strash. Ready to hear sounds coming from the Progressy, which then flowed in through the tax sound for the attached caliber. We can also then activate a full charge or a charge rise. which activates the Rising Caban Dynamic, or Rising Caban Dynamic. If you press it again, it goes back to Rising Caban Strash. Now we can also use other progress keys, though for this review I'll just be using Flying Falcon, as I'll be using, or rather saving, the weapon sounds for Shooting Wolf and Rushing Shia for the second attached weapon, which comes out later this month. Now, if we do with that whole charge function, we simply get something like flying charge. And there we go. Overall, the attached caliber is simple but effective. It's got a very basic concept of having this briefcase turn into a weapon. But the way it does so is very smooth and very quick. Very simple transformation, but one that works. Leads to a very dynamic and streamlined form with some interesting sounds. Not only in how you have the two levels of special attacks, but also in how you can vary it depending on which progress key you use. So it makes a very good accessory piece for your progress keys. So overall, I'd certainly recommend picking up this or one of the later weapons in the Attack Weapon series to go along with your progress keys. Next time, I'll be reviewing the Biting Shark progress key. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Karo50, riding off.